Hey everyone, welcome. This is Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we're going to talk about how to detox the pancreas. We're going to talk about everything you can think of. Importance of pancreas, foods you should and should not eat, lifestyle changes you need to do, which supplements you should take, where is pancreas pain felt, symptoms of pancreas problems, symptoms of pancreas cancer, tests to understand pancreas damage, and can you leave it out pancreas. Stay tuned to the end. Pancreas is located in the upper abdomen and it's typically found between the bottom of the rib cage and the belly button. It's a relatively small organ, typically measuring between 12 and 15 centimeters in length and weighing around 70 to 100 grams. Despite its small size, the pancreas plays a vital role in the digestive and endocrine systems and it's essential maintaining overall health and wellness. It has many functions. It produces enzymes such as amylase, lipase, and protease that help break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins in the small intestine. It produces hormones such as insulin and glucagon that help regulate blood sugar levels. It also produces bicarbonate, which is an alkaline substance that helps neutralize stomach acid as it enters the small intestine. This is important for protecting the lining of the small intestine from damage. It also helps detoxify the body by producing enzymes that break down harmful substances such as alcohol and drugs. Proper care and maintenance of the pancreas through healthy diet and lifestyle is important for overall health and well-being. Today we will talk everything you need to know such as foods you should eat for healthy pancreas. Olive oil is important. It's high in healthy monounsaturated fats, which can help improve pancreatic function and reduce the risk of inflammation. Turmeric, it contains a compound called curcumin, which has anti-inflammatory properties that can help protect the pancreas from damage. Garlic contains a compound called allicin, which has been shown to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that can help improve the pancreatic function. Yogurt, which is high in probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria that can help improve digestive health and reduce inflammation. Also, legumes like lentils, chickpeas, and black beans are high in fiber and protein and other nutrients that can help regulate blood sugar and, and reduce the inflammation. Vegetables such as spinach, broccoli, Kale and Brussels sprouts are high in antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds that can help protect the pancreas from damage. Fruits like berries, cherries, and citrus fruits are also high in antioxidants and can help reduce inflammation. Nuts and seeds such as almonds, walnuts, and chia seeds are high in healthy fats, fiber, and protein, which can help improve pancreatic function. Whole grains such as brown rice, quinoa, and oatmeal. oatmeal are rich in fiber, which can help regulate blood sugar levels. Lean proteins like chicken, turkey, and fish are good choices because they are low in fat and can help reduce the risk of inflammation and other health problems. We have talked about foods you should eat. Now, let's talk about foods you should not eat. Consuming foods that are high in saturated and trans fats, such as fried foods, fatty meats, and high-fat dairy products can increase the risk of developing pancreatic inflammation and damage. Consuming foods that are high in refined carbohydrates such as white bread, pasta, and rice can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes and pancreatic cancer. Processed meats such as bacon, sausage, and deli meats contain high levels of sodium and nitrates, which can increase the risk of pancreatic cancer which is one of the most deadly cancers in the world. Consuming foods and drinks that are high in added sugars, such as sodas, candies, and baked goods can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes and pancreatic cancer. And what lifestyle changes you should do. Regular physical activity can help regulate blood sugar levels and improve pancreatic function. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. You smoke quitting can help reduce your risk of developing pancreatic cancer and pancreatitis, not just pancreatic cancer and also 
other cancers. Being overweight or obese can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes and pancreatic problems. Aim to maintain a healthy weight through a combination of healthy eating and regular exercise. Choose to drink alcohols, do so in moderation. For women, this means no more than one drink per day, and for men, no more than two drinks per day. Well, drinking plenty of water can help flush toxins out of the body and maintain healthy pancreatic function, and regular checkups with your healthcare provider can help detect any pancreatic problems early when they are easier to treat. Supplements that can help your pancreas. Probiotics are number one. These supplements contain beneficial bacteria that can help improve digestion and reduce inflammation in the gut. They may also help prevent infections that can damage the pancreas. Magnesium is important for the proper functioning of the pancreas, can help regulate blood sugar levels. It's found in nuts, seeds, and green leafy vegetables, as well as in supplements. Omega-3 fatty acids, these are healthy fats that can reduce inflammation and promote pancreatic health. They are found in fatty fish like salmon, tuna, as well as in fish oil supplements. Chromium, it's important for insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. It can be found in whole grains, broccoli, and nuts, as well as in supplements. It's important to note that supplements should not be used as a substitute for a healthy diet and lifestyle. Consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplements for anything as they may interact with other medications or health conditions. Now, let's talk about the, some common areas where pancreatic pain may be felt. Upper abdomen pain may be felt in the upper abdomen, especially in the center or on the left side. This is the most common area for pancreatic pain. Back pain may be felt in the back, especially in the upper part between the shoulder blades. This is because the pancreas is located behind the stomach and the pain can radiate, radiate to the back. In some cases, pancreatic pain may be felt in the chest, especially in the left side. This is because the pancreas is located close to the heart and the pain can radiate to the chest. If you're experiencing any persistent pain in the upper abdomen, back, or chest, or if you have any other concerning symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention. Now, let's talk about the symptoms of pancreas problems. Pain in the upper abdomen often radiating to back or chest, the areas we talked now is a common symptoms of pancreas problems nausea and vomiting can occur with acute pancreatitis which is a condition in which the pancreas becomes inflamed and swollen jaundice is another condition you should know yellowing of the skin and eyes can be a sign of a blockage in the bile duct, which can be caused by tumor and pancreas changes in bowel movements are important this can include diarrhea pale or oily stools and constipation unexplained weight loss can be a sign of chronic pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer the pancreas produces insulin so damage to the pancreas can lead to diabetes or difficulty controlling blood sugar levels diabetes can be a sign fever and chills can occur with pancreatitis or or pancreatic abscesses but pancreatic cancer often does not cause any noticeable symptoms in its early stages. However, as the cancer grows and spreads, it may cause the following symptoms. We have talked about the symptoms of pancreas problems, but now let's talk about the pancreatic cancer signs. Again, pain in the upper abdomen or middle of the back may be a sign of the pancreatic cancer. Yellowing of the skin and eyes, we have talked about it. Losing weight without trying. It can cause nausea and vomiting, particularly after eating. It can cause diarrhea, constipation, or pale, greasy stools. Feeling tired or weak can be a symptom. It can also cause loss of appetite and feeling of fullness even after eating small amounts of food. But you should know that these symptoms can be caused by many other conditions.
conditions and having one or more of these symptoms does not necessarily mean that you have pancreatic cancer. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider as soon as possible. How can we understand pancreas damage? We can use blood tests. It can help detect high levels of pancreatic enzymes or abnormal liver function, which may be a sign of pancreatic damage. Imaging tests are helpful. Ultrasound, CT scan, MRI, or endoscopic ultrasound can provide detailed images of the pancreas can help detect abnormalities or damage. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. The assess combines an endoscopy with x-rays to examine the pancreas, bile ducts, and liver. We can use this. Pancreatic function test measures the ability to produce digestive enzymes or insulin can help. We can use biopsy as well. Can you live without pancreas? What do you think? No, you cannot live without a pancreas. If the entire pancreas is removed, the body will no longer be able to produce these essential hormones that we talked about, leading to a condition called insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus. People with IDDM require lifelong insulin therapy to regulate their blood sugar levels. Additionally, without a pancreas, the body will not be able to produce digestive enzymes needed to break down and absorb nutrients from food. This can lead to malnutrition, weight loss, and other digestive problems. In some cases, a portion of the pancreas may be removed to treat certain conditions like pancreatic cancer or chronic pancreatitis. However, even with a partial pancreatectomy, there is still a risk of developing diabetes and other complications that we have talked about. Thanks for watching. It took a lot to make this video. Please watch how to detox the pancreas short video. Watch full pancreas playlist. I will put them here. Join channel membership. It's just $2. You will choose new video and support us, which is so important. Like the video, share this information and video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for doing this and see you on the next video.